Hi everyone, I just wanted to share something that I thought was worth sharing. I, uh, I've got this keyboard, it's a Microsoft Sidewinder. There's a lot out there that do basically the same thing. Uh, gaming keyboard with macro buttons. Uh, this has got six macro buttons down the side and it's got a little profile button up the top that allows you to switch between three profiles. So essentially there's 18 macro buttons on here. It just hit me yesterday, why, why not use these macro buttons to store everyday key sequences that I would use while programming and yeah already seen the benefits and I thought hey why not share this anyway here's an example so I've got my swordfish um, application open and I'm gonna write up a quick template for a program I hit one button and off it goes so I'm ready to go I didn't have to manually type any of that out one button did it all uh, other things as well, like uh, subroutines or functions, and yeah, how did I do it? You can go through and manually on the keyboard, you can press the manual button there and go through and, and record your macro. The problem with that is it, is it records the amount of time in between each key press. If you go into the, the settings itself, I can go to a macro and I can hit assign a macro and here, here they are so I can actually, actually control the whole macro itself and the time frame in between each key and reduce it right down so if I make a new one I'm going to call this while true and in here I'm going to create a while true wend loop which is something you would use all the time in swordfish and because I want it to go up and tab in, I can't actually press those buttons on here, I'll have to use special keys. So I'm going to press the up arrow, or select the up arrow, and then I want to hit the home button. So you have to think like what you would actually press in real life, uh, and hit tab. So here's my whole key sequence, and every single little time delay in between is at the 10 milliseconds. I don't think I can set it for anything less, it won't let me. And if I go back to Swordfish now and hit the function key which was function key 6 there you go a while true loop it's as easy as that you can replicate it for as many things as you like